What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tossin Man back with a banger. This is action packed. I'm about to show you guys a variant of the Jalu layup that you can execute every single time in NBA 2K23. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to execute it. Um, it is extremely uh, hard to block. It is extremely, I'd say, overpowered. If you guys have seen my streams, I'm live every day on twitch.tv slash you know. Um, you guys have been going crazy every time I do this because it's so hard to guard. Comp teams can't guard it. Nobody can guard it. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, how to pull it off every single time. It is a variant of the Jelly Lab. So, I'm going to show you guys some clips from my streams. You guys can see exactly what type of play I'm talking about. And then I head into the lab and I'll show you guys exactly how to get it done every time. Um, as of now, nobody is doing this. I have played like 260 games in the park. I've not seen a single other opponent do it. But, I can almost guarantee you guys, after I show you guys how to do this, there'll be a lot of people doing this and using this exact move because it's so, so good. Here you go. Enjoy. Um, I'm about to give you guys some secret sauce, okay? Let's do it. Alright. Alright, so we start off with a spin move. Get him on the ground and I scoop it up. That scoop right there. That jelly lap is the event. That is what this video is predicated around. That little scoop. We do it on the left side, the right side, whatever side I want to do it to with the pro stick. Watch. Okay, two defenders on me. I split the middle, bring them to the left, scoop to the right easy work it's my go-to you are about to see me do this a few times because that is how magic happens watch this hezzy bring him to the left side and it's just easy once i get that lane i can scoop it to the left there to the right there, even if i wanted to now center in the paint this is where it gets really glitchy if the center is too deep in i can scoop it over him every time watch the hezzy again watch me scoop it to the left because wide open unblockable unguardable i don't care who you are i don't care if you're LeBron james you're not chasing that down watch this all right bring him to the left right side scoop it up easy okay it is basic IQ. This is something that I do that looks really pretty, but it is not that hard to do. I don't know what else to tell you. If the center is coming at me on an island, I am going to make him stuck in the middle, and I'm going to bring him to one side, scoop it to the other side. Watch this. Scoop it up. Easy. Too quick. Can't guard it. Okay? Now, next up, we have this. I see two defenders. I split the middle. Alright, right there, I had no real sense of a jelly, so I took a spin instead. They were playing clean sides. It was an easy spin. Right here, uh, that's just too easy. They're both leaning to the left, so I'm going to take it to the right easy scoop layup now what i'm going to show you guys after this is obviously how to take it to whatever side you want to take it to a lot of new players a lot of amateurs take layups with the square button okay that is bad when you take layups with the square button you are relying on a lot of rng you are relying on the game to be like okay i'm going to give you the good layup animation okay no most of the time whenever i can help it i will take layups with my right stick especially when i'm playing like this with the jellies because you can control every side that you take it the game will never say Ticino, you flicked it to the left. I'm going to make you take it with your right hand. No, the game will never do that. So, as you can see from these clips, I am scooping it where I want to scoop it. I am not relying on the RNG of the game. See that? They're on the left side. I scoop it to the right. It's easy work. Now, do you guys understand what I'm saying when I say this is overpowered? Do you see these clips? And are you looking at me like, oh my God, I want to learn this right now. Watch this. Fake him out. Look, it's wide open, but I can even get fancy with it and it'll still be open. It doesn't matter. They fixed the Acrobat. Watch this. Ah! Oh, shit! Well, I ain't gonna lie to you, boys. Some of the plays I do amaze me. Like, I just see it. Okay, now that one, I'm just showing you guys that contested can even go in, okay? But some of these plays, I just see it. I see them leaning. That's how I'm like, spin it. Look at the scoop to the left. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. All right, while well, you guys are starting to get the idea, these clips are nearly over. Right side, flick up. Easy work. You guys are getting the idea. Now you're gonna be like, okay, Tice, you know, I see this is amazing. It's unguardable. Can you please show me how to do it like you do it so I can show off to my friends? Well, guess what? Today is the day I'm going to teach you guys. Let's head into the Prime Arena in a second after you watch this. Ow! All right, we're about to head into the Prime Arena. We've got like 10 seconds left. Another left scoop right there. As you can see, it's unguardable. This is not fake. This is not like one in a million. I have literally had games where we 21 owed the opponents and all I took was jellies. There you guys have it. Let's head into the arena. And let's show you guys what I'm talking about. Here you go. Alright, first things first. Go to animations. And then we're going to hit to layup. Go to layup. And all I want you to do is put on the jelly layup package. Now, a little fun fact here. I don't actually think you need the jelly layup package equipped. I think you just need a certain layout rating to take these layups. Because I had default small equipped. And when I got a high enough layout rating, I was making these layups anyway. The ones that I show you in the video. The scoops left and right. I was making them with default small. So, 
The Jelly Lao package, I'm pretty sure, is non essential. You don't need it, but you definitely need a high driving lap rating to attempt these. So I would equip the Jelly Lao package anyway. Once you can equip this, you should be able to get the animations. If anybody in the comments knows the exact driving lap needed to take these scoops that I'm taking in this video, let me know. But you do not actually need this Jelly Lao package because I was taking it when I only had this equipped. Just a heads up for y'all, man. But anyway, equip the Jelly Lao package and let's get into the arena. I'll show you how it's done. Um, a lot of people already know this obviously this is a tutorial kind of meant for the amateur player who does not understand this um, So basically this comes down to the fact that if you're taking laps with square It's stupid unless it's wide open. Okay, that is all I'm gonna say You should not be taking laps with the square button like that unless you are completely wide open And there's not a single person in your vicinity the key here is to control Your laps with the right hand and the left hand laps. It's very simple If you flick your right stick to the left you get a left hand layup if you flick your right stick to the right you get a right hand layup That is how it works on absolute. I do not use absolute. I use camera relative camera relative So depending on where I am relative to the hoop I flick my stick a different way. It's how I like to play. It's how I got used to 2k But 99% of you guys on absolute so ignore that just flick your right stick to the left for a left-handed scoop and flick your right stick to the right for a right handed scoop other than that it's just about getting the angle right so the angle will be coming in a bit like right here and flick it to the left easy right ball in the right hand let's go from the right side ball in the right hand flick it to the right like that is simple that is the scoop layup right there that is all you need to know that will completely change your game okay i can guarantee you guys that will completely change your game nobody does it like i sit in the park all day i play games nobody goes down the lane and just shoots it over the center like this they just don't do it and they're completely just missing an easy bucket because they don't do it. You're all going to be doing this in the park now. So you come down the middle, flick it to the right, flick it to the left, whatever way you're going. And obviously you get fancy with it and change the hands and just flick it the other way. Um, there's a lot of other fancy stuff you can do with the sticks in terms of layups. But this is not an advanced layup tutorial. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm teaching you guys how to scoop it over the defense. Like, look at that. I'm flicking my right stick to the right right there. I'm bringing it to the left there. Flick it to the left. Like, it's that simple. Okay? They're not contesting it. It's easy. And um, that is your boy teaching you guys how to do the jelly laps in NBA 2K23. Very, very simple and um, very, very, very effective. And I'm not going to lie, overpowered just because you cannot block it. Like, good luck trying to block this. It's not happening. I think I've been blocked like once or twice out of all the park games I've played doing this. And um, yeah, I just want you guys to have fun and make the most of it, okay? So yeah, little, little, little cheat code. Little, 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 uh... Little move you can do. You guys can be looking like stiff guy in no time, man. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. You've been watching your boy Tassino. And I'll be you. Whoa, I just missed one. And I'll be <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys uh, very soon. That's gotta be my stamina, right? Holy. Alright. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace.